Good day everyone, Alice here from Safi Financial Network. Today is January 13, 2023. Here is the weekly analysis for the second week of January. We had last week nice upside and this week we had a very very nice upside to the to almost 4000 area. So here is the S&P weekly and as you see here the weekly chart is kind of like a forming bounce this is a pretty nice bounce and i'm not sure if we are breaking through uh, this bearish trend line or not but based on the analysis that we have i come up with the conclusion of uh, we are not breaking through the bear market until months of march and we will get back to this one probably months of february or march but still, I'm looking for a downside target for 3200 to 3400 possibly in months of March. So, again, this bounce would be a nice opportunity for rebalancing your portfolio. But I believe the last pivot for the market is coming soon. So sit tight, stay tuned, especially next video. I'm coming with a forecast of 2023. And I encourage everyone, regardless if you are a trader or if you are an investor, you should look at that forecast because it's going to be free for everyone and it's going to be posted in this channel as well. So make sure that watch that video as well. However, the pivot for the market is not there yet. So we don't need to pay attention to those macro fundamental numbers because every month can be a different but based on the chart and based on the cycles that are following, probably the next pivot, important pivot for the market, and probably that's going to be the bottom of the market, is going to be March period. And that would be ideal scenario if we see a testing level to the top of the market prior COVID crash coming to this bearish consol uh, bullish consolidation, sorry, bullish consolidation wide range bar, specifically. The cherry on the top would be 33.83. So I'm still waiting for this area to get to the market and to, uh, for the first time since I would say last two years, for the first time I would be all bullish, all bullish, and every dip I would be buyer. But right now I'm just looking for as a shorting opportunity, 4,025 would be probably the ultimate target and even market could stretch up a little bit to hit this trend line so there is nothing wrong if you see market will have a positive days in um i think uh, on monday actually we will close so due to martin luther king um holiday uh stock market will be closed but on tuesday if you see um kind of like a bullish um, a candle, bullish daily candle. So that would be the upside target, and the upside target would be limited. The upside target would be 4,050 or so. So that's going to be the end of the story. I'm not sure even if we take out this pivot high as well. So sit tight again. Um, probably we will get back to you on March. I know momentum wise, we are getting crossover with the stochastic, but it is not in oversold condition. So I'm just looking at stochastic crossover in oversold condition condition or even in overbought condition i'm not looking something between just because it's going to be misleading so we have this we have this here and then sharply going up and then look what happened after that we will hit a lower low and lower low after that so two lower lows in a row so again if it comes to the oversold or overbought condition that's going to be very, very interesting signal. But for now, especially after this bull run, like we have one, two, three, four consecutive weeks to the upside. So that's going to be probably the dead cat bounce or kind of a double top formation for this. As we are going forward, I will let you know how price action will be unfold. All right. So going to the daily chart, here is the daily chart. Daily chart, we are getting close again. Uh, for the RSI perspective, the last time we get to the bear side, we are just one day away from this important resistance area. So that's that's the RSI. Momentum-wise, however, we are very, very overbought. So if you look at the daily 
momentum index this is a momentum index uh, based on the daily this is very very sharp move to the upside as you see here we have very very nice sharp move to the upside we didn't have like even a sloping up and down or zigzag or something it's just the steady sloping up all the way from oversold condition to overbought condition macd is pretty stretched so everything is getting ready i believe everything is getting ready and if you follow this trend we just hit the trend line here so again lots of buyers coming back after especially this breakout and we are getting close to 4014 which is very very important level for me as well so again daily chart looks topping formation weekly chart somewhere in between but again based on the bigger uh, picture which is monthly which i just follow that monthly every single month it hasn't uh, been changed uh, so far since uh, uh, the previous month analysis which just uh, came up uh, at the beginning of the year so a monthly chart still is giving me uh, one more dip probably that's going to be uh, 10 percent dip even into the month month of march and also based on the daily chart as you see here we are getting close to another sell-off and this sell-off if we take out this pivot so that's going to be this is the first level for the short bounce but double bottom or probably stretching to the lower low to 32 to 3400 and that's going to be the the beginning of this w pattern which we just nail it in our weekly candle as well. So here is 32 or 3398. Uh, that's going to be top of the market prior COVID crash. So that's going to be very, very interesting level for me. Again, I'm just waiting for this. And when we get there, I'm going to be all long for the market. So 2023, again, the forecast is coming after this video, probably tomorrow. So make sure watch that video because there are lots of information and all would be free okay so let's move on to nasdaq so here is the nasdaq chart and nasdaq we are in indicator wise again the same there is no um, no any uh, or there is nothing to to say or new about the indicator for the weekly chart for the nasdaq but for the price action wise we are getting close above sma20 which is kind of like a bullish indicator for for nasdaq but right now, if you just zoom in here, we just a touch above SMA 200 in weekly basis. So again, um, that could be um, a kind of like a bullishness for the market. But this type of candle, again, this type of candle is very, very strong, something like this. So it doesn't have follow through. So that's the problem with NASDAQ. Even look at that. For example, this one came up from the bottom, very, very strong candle to the upside recapture sma 150 but this one is coming down so this one is coming down shortly and uh, it, just, it didn't have follow through a follow through just came up after four or five candles to the upside and hit this trend line again we have a good resistance which is this trend line just a week above so again if we see something like this and that's going to be a selling opportunity i know this is going to be my second stop loss probably just because i i got into the position we went into the money but i didn't close it so probably will be stopped out that's going to be very very uh, low size so i'm not concerned about that the big one is coming the big one is coming and this formation is getting close to the short setup if you go to daily chart here's the daily chart for the nasdaq stochastic is getting overstretched to the to the overbought condition macd rsi everything signals for the topping formation and this parabolic move to the upside even if it is in bull market it needs to have a correction so and also look at that so this is a formation of very very choppy and sloppy since uh, september 2022 it is very very choppy and sloppy but look at that so this is kind of like a double shoulder this is triple head and we are forming another shoulder here so this formation is very very similar to head and shoulder but it is very very choppy so if you want to see that you need to just to scale it up to the weekly chart as we did but it is not that obvious but i'm looking for as a selling opportunity again 11,550 11,664 
that's going to be good uh, selling opportunity. Stop loss would be on top of this head. If we close above this top of this head, so that's going to mean probably we take out this pivot high, we take out this SMA 200 for the first time since this crash. So that's going to be very, very uh, bullish um, structure for the market and we should take it as a as a bullish momentum. But I'm not sure if we, if we are there yet. So probably a lower low is coming for the NASDAQ, probably to 9,000 area, 9,000. Uh, 300 to 9,700, 9,800. That's going to be the same level. If you go back, that's going to be the same level for S&P, which is going to be top of the market prior COVID crash and just piercing down to this consolidation area, which is very, very important. I would say very, very important for the NASDAQ as well. So probably the timing would be end of the February or just the middle of the march that's going to be the time that i'm looking for a reversal probably that's going to be low for 2023 again i'm not going to release my cycles the cycles is coming in the next video so make sure that watch the next video as well all right moving on to dow jones so dow jones weekly chart it is in my area it is very very strong but i think dow jones is coming back down for the final low as the other indexes i'm looking for but i think it's gonna be higher low and i'm not surprised if we see dow jones even get to this level not even further down there so um i think dow jones is going to be the best index for the long position in 2023 dow jones already tested this area nicely coming back up broken out this trend line and this is the key of the success for Dow Jones because it came back to test this area even piercing through to this wide range bar and then coming back up so Dow Jones specifically weekly chart is very very bullish so any pullback would be a nice buying opportunity and I think probably Dow Jones is coming down to this area or even lower low like something like this so this is my box but I can change it later on but again uh, we should just uh, keep an eye on this uh, especially with the other indexes and i think still we will have a good chance of a lower lower high uh, and lower uh, and higher low for the dow jones and we will see like a kind of wedging formation and then this wedge is going to broken up to the upside probably the second half of this year let me just draw something for you so this is the dynamic trend line from low 2016 here is low 2018 actually this is dynamic and this is not a very valid but market reacted very very well especially when these dynamic trend lines are coming along with this consolidation area or kind of like a demand area so that's why i'm coming along with this area like if we get something like this here so that's going to be a higher low for the dow jones and it's going to be reverse qm or head and shoulder for the dow jones and that's going to be very very nice buying opportunity i would say so uh, especially if you just uh, stretch this one and coming down to here and when you see the timing here's the may but i just expect this one is coming to months of march probably so again um, looking long position in this area if we get any retracement or pullback for the Dow Jones to this area. So the area would be about 30,000, between 30,000 and 31,000. 31, so that's going to be a nice buying opportunity for the Dow Jones. Moving on to the daily chart. So here is the daily chart. Daily chart momentum is overstretched into overbought condition. We have a, um, a lower high here, but ultimately I'm just looking for another pullback. So here is the pullback area. This is the first uh, uh, touch to this uh, to this area, like to this um, shooting a star when we had this uh, pullback, and probably it's going to be just a, uh, another double double top, or probably just a lower high. I'm I'm not sure. Again, we should just look at uh, indexes together and see if they are just having the topping formation. Probably that's going to be um that's going to be the case so again make sure that watch all three indexes dow jones s p and 
NASDAQ and see in this critical area if they reverse back down. If they reverse back down, so probably we will see a lower low in NASDAQ, probably double bottom in S&P and higher low in Dow Jones Industrial, especially in this area. Okay. So again, um, I think I've wrapped up everything here. Just uh, I want to say um, thanks for following me and watching this video. Make sure watch the next video. It's going to be forecast for 2023 and uh, lots of good materials covered, lots of good materials for the cycle. We will get back to chart 100 years ago. We will get back to World War II. We will get back to 70s decade and we will get back to the dot-com bubble and we coming with lots of good stuff and comparison to the current um, current day's market and we will see where are we at and what should we forecast and expect for 2023 and moving forward after that all right so uh, stay tuned sit tight and make sure that watch the next video okay i think i wrapped up everything if you like this video please smash the like button subscribe to our channel and have a good one see you on the chart bye bye